Hey, what's up, guys? Your average world gamer is back with another video of World of Warships, and today I'm going to be featuring Tier 9 Premium Tier 9 Battleship, uh, and that is Pan Asian one, by the way, which is Baiji. Now, Baiji is basically available from those containers, which I will be able to show you. If you're able to manage to level 20 pass of Lunar New Year event, well, you can able to get a journey to the best premium containers, which will give you this battleship that is Baije. Now, Baije is basically a similar, uh, or basically you can call it a clone of Izumo, which I will definitely show you. As you can able to see, I have Izumo as well. Uh, there is the Izumo. So basically, it's the iGen battleship, ditto copy-paste. Izumo, basically having the same characteristics, 410mm guns, everything is almost the same, airstrikes, secondaries, maneuverability, concealment, but there are some uh, key differences of Baije compared to Izumo. So let me go and get to the Baije real quick to be able to show you that exact thing. So there is Baije that I do have and that is it. So the Baijie is basically a Pan-Asian Premium, which basically means that you can only able to put Pan-Asian Commanders. In this case, I put the Shah Zenbing, the legendary captain of Pan-Asian ships, as a captain for this battleship. Now, this battleship has some differences. First of all, it does have a slightly worse reload time compared to Izumo, which is 32 seconds base. This is 28.2 seconds because I have the reload mod slapped into the 6th slot. And you can able to see, I use the concealment, uh, reducing the fires, uh, aiming system, which is very important for the battleship, obviously. M damage control modification one, and then obviously main armaments mod one. So this is a typical upgrade for the Baije, pretty much a typical battleship build. And you can able to see the guns are the same. The secondaries are basically the same. Nothing too special. Air defense is also most the same. Basically, everything is same except a couple of things. It does have way better firing range, 21, tw sorry, 25.4 kilometers, which is very, very respectable for this tier. Pretty high, I would say, for a tier 9 premium battleship. Compared to Uzumo, probably 20-ish kilometer. Uh, I think it's 21 kilometer, if I'm not wrong. Let me show you this real quick. Uh, but there are definitely some key differences. So... Let me go and just show you in the tech tree ship here. So this is Izumo. So worse reload time and yeah, main battery firing range is definitely way much worse. So 19.7, which obviously improves to around 21 kilometers. So there is still a difference. The Baije has 2.1 Sigma, which basically determines if the shell's gonna be more landing in the middle of the dispersion ellipse. So it has 2.1 Sigma compared to Izumo's 2.0, so a lot much more accuracy, I would say, in Baiji compared to Izumo. And the guns are obviously very, very good because, well, they are basically laser sort of guns. Uh, very low air drag, and uh, they come towards the target very quickly with 12,900 alpha damage. Uh, in the case of survivability, it is only around 79,000 HP with decent torpedo protection, I think. It's improved with my build because I'm using Shah Zen Bing. It improves the torpedo belt a bit, like it's 7%, uh, which is, sorry. Uh, I mean, it does not improve the torpedo belt, like uh, in terms of the, uh, you know, enhanced skill. It's just the normal 7%, but it does have uh, plus 35% torpedo ac acquisition range. So I decided to use it because it is slightly better. So you have a sort of a better chance of spotting those destroy torpedoes so it increases the torpedo detections so you have a more chance of you know uh, dodging those torpedoes because they will be detected a bit further away in this case 35 percent which is pretty nice and you can able to see it does have emergency repair specialist improved as well so it's pretty pretty good so i have this uh, shah zenbin captain uh, uh, in in this build which is you can able to see a lot much more tankable with using the improved repair party readiness, which helps a lot. And you can also proc this skill, which is emergency supplies, which basically improves the reload time by 6.5% once you will get 1.5 million of potential. And I mean, if you get 3 million potential damage, you can improve it even further. So it's basically sort of a 
improved repair party readiness, but uh, captain, uh, legendary captain does have this uh, baked into its talent, which is pretty, pretty nice, I would say. So it's pretty good uh, in that regard. You have a option of spotting aircraft and fighter. In this case, it does have a normal heel, so nothing too special. Concealment is, I would say, pretty eh. Um, it's not gonna win any rewards, it's just okay concealment. Uh, if it's my build, it's even worse, so keep that in mind. And uh, that is basically a Baije. So it's a lot much more powerful, I would say, in terms of its accuracy and dispersion, because you have slightly better Sigma, with worse reload time compared to Izumo. But it is, regardless, a copy-paste Izumo. But since it's a premium battleship, you will earn more credits. And if you like Izumo, well, Baije does suit uh, your needs because, well, not only you will get a premium status, but also you will get good credits. So it's pretty, pretty nice. You can put the captain, uh, different captains of pan Asian, which would be pretty nice because it will be free as you don't have to retrain those commanders. So keep that in mind. And let's just get into the battle to even able to showcase you the Baije and what this battleship is capable of. So we are now in the game, the first game of the Baije. I will post two games for this battleship so that you can able to clearly an analyze the strengths and weaknesses. And by the way, these are not gonna be cherry picked games. So this is gonna be completely random battle with no cherry picking so that you won't you will be able to clearly see what this ship is truly capable of and uh, well i got spotted here as you can able to see i have very high concealment the conqueror shot me which is obviously a problem and then there is a small one that is actually spotting me uh, obviously conqueror has shot down so much of my air by the way but thankfully there are no carriers which is pretty nice some marine actually helped me a bit here uh, but uh, somehow he might eat those uh, depth charge strikes, which could be a problem. And uh, I fish the Conqueror doesn't shoot me because it's a tier 10 matchmaking, full fledged tier 10 matchmaking. There are a lot of uh, submarines as well, so it's not gonna be easy. And there's a Pimonte that is shooting the sap, so yeah, gotta be careful here. I don't want to be taking so much damage. Oh my goodness, that is really bad. I was not expecting that much of a salvo, but hey. Well, they are doing some good damage. The small net outspotting me is a big problem here because there's nothing I can do much here. I have to just kite away and healing back some of the HP because that's what I can have to do. Thankfully, it's just a not a serial damage, so I can heal back quite a bit of it. And then there is a San Vincent that is sort of broadside. I don't know if I can manage to shoot him, but he's turning out, so that is also unfortunate. Uh, yeah, he's turning out here, so not worth it shooting him. Pomonte can shoot me again since I'm just broadsiding this guy. He done like almost 18k damage, that's pretty bad actually. Even the Conqueror is turning out. Oh my goodness, the, the Pomonte shot me again and I just shot the Conqueror unfortunately. So hopefully, okay only a couple of shells hits which is good. And I'm shooting the Conqueror. Okay, we did 12k, which is pretty nice. As you can able to see, the shell arcs are very, very nice. Very fast shell, velocity shells. So they will definitely going to hit to the Citadel if I get, if I can manage to do that. Now I will take a shot on the Pimonte. He's slowing down, I think. I don't know. Is he slowing down? Uh, no, he's not slowing down. Never mind. But look at the dispersion. That's what a Sigma is about. Like, Sigma is pretty, pretty nice. And here... Uh, the Brisbane is basically in the bowing situation. I hope the submarine knows what he's doing. Schlieffen is pushing very aggressive and I know the Schlieffen will die. And uh, I will not gonna be really looking forward to push like this at all. But well, Smaller seems to be in trouble as well. I will try to take a shot on the San Vincent. Let's see if I can manage to do that. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a submarine. Can I have a shot? No. Okay. Uh, I'm just shooting this uh, San Vincent, but I... Yeah, I think I missed completely. Yeah, I missed the San Vincent completely. Unfortunately, our Schlieffen will definitely going to die. There's just no way. Uh, that ab absolutely sucks. Uh, San Vincent is pushing pretty hard, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't do much about it. The Schlieffen is just throwing his ship away. On the other hand, if I manage to get someone broadside, that would be very important. I know I can't do much on that position. Uh, but hey, there's a Conqueror that I can shoot, really. Oh, the Adatara. Is the Adatara gonna broadside? I think the Adatara might broadside. Yeah, yeah. Adatara can potentially broadside. We 
which he does, I think. Let's see if I can able to get some Citadel done. Uh, dispersion looks pretty good. Is he gonna turn in? Let's see. Yeah, got a good good hit on the Adatara. Uh, looks like I can get another shot, but I have to wait for a bit of a time. So you can able to see the Baiji really relies on uh, broadsides, obviously, as a battleship that you, ha you are a sniper. So you have to do something what you can. He's turning out, so I did shoot him slightly above the superstructure, and hopefully I can get a couple of shell hits here. Yeah, the 13k, nice. Uh, good damage again. So pretty good hits on that guy. Okay, that oh, that's a San Vincent. That could hurt. That could potentially hurt. I didn't expect him to shoot me like this. And wow, okay, that didn't hurt me at all. Lucky there, the Brisbane. Which I can shoot here. Pimonte is pushing. San Vincent died by Schlieffen torpedoes? Really? I was not expecting. Ah, oh, but that bad third traverse, man. Terrible third traverse, by the way. Let's let's get to the. Come on, come on. If I can manage to get a good hit on the uh, the the Brisbane. Well, Brisbane's turning in, so <laughs> there goes that uh, broadside here. Yeah, clearly can't do much here about it. He's turning out now, since he realized that he can do it, unfortunately. Let's just wait for a bit of a time. Maybe I can get a shot. No, he got unspotted because of some rain is not spotting him. So that's actually sucked. The Brisbane uh, probably will kill the U-boat. And Conqueror, as usual, shooting him like this. Uh, is he going to broadside this Pimonte? I know he will not kind of broadside. How is he going to be broadsiding here? Yeah, he's going to turn in here really quickly still three shell hits which is nice uh the brisbane is trying to farm me that's is a bit uh, yeah difficult to do much here about the pimonte though uh, can we can. okay the thar is still alive by the way that's actually bad I'm just gonna okay the Annapolis is radar which is very nice let's see if i can shoot this pimonte real quick no, I just can't do that. He's basically behind the island or something. The Tatar is also kind of there. So, yeah, it's a bit risky. Thunderstorm on front. And I don't know. If I can able to shoot on the bow. But the dispersion would be pretty A. Eh? And yeah, this other Tatar is shooting me. This Ohio is shooting me. And that's not good. Yeah, that's not looking good. I have to turn out. Really. Before they can do massive damage on me. Th good thing is that uh, there's Thunderstorm. Uh, which also uh, reduces that, uh, yeah, not only the concealment, but also makes the guns pretty worse. And uh, the Tharak can really shoot me here, and I fear that I might get Citadel here. That's my concern. And, oh, look at the dispersion of Ohio. Oh my goodness. Can't pull me off like this. Oh my goodness. Come on. Okay, lucky me, lucky me. Lucky me, but oh, we are losing this game, man. We're losing this heavily. Let's just run away very quickly. Oh, dis bad dispersion, man. Because of this uh, this whole thing going on. Come on, can I get one shell hit on this Citadel? At least one shell hit on the Citadel. That's pretty good. But Ohio can literally kill me there. With no time if I... Okay, torpedo by Kitakami, which is really nice. Conqueror, as usual, shooting AG. Not good for me. Let's just heal back very quickly since I don't have much HP. Uh, boy. Is it the... Okay, Ohio might shoot me. Just gonna shoot on his superstructure. And see if I can manage to get a... Oh, whoa, whoa what the hell? Okay, get some, some good damage. Adatara, I can shoot this guy and do some damage on this as well. But I need to run away from the Ohio. Ohio can be very strong here. Can't do much Ohio. And can I get a... Is it broadside? No, it's, it's full bowing almost. There's nothing that I can do. Uh, Ohio broadsiding? Yeah, he's gonna broadside. Come on, YJ. Turn the guns, please. Turn the guns. Turn the guns, please. Yeah, I think the Ohio shoot me pretty nicely here. Oh, come on. This island can be a problem. Okay, 20,000 damage. I'm okay with that. 
or island can be a problem hopefully ohio will turn out and i can just broadside a bit here without fearing that ohio will shoot me back but the conqueror he's shooting me yeah he's shooting me no he's shooting the annapolis shooting the annapolis ohio will he turn in and yeah he will turn in most likely i have to keep running away i can't tank more damage like this I'll just shoot this guy like this Conquer is a problem just gonna heal back quite a bit more hp and one over pen that's unfortunate okay i'll keep running away like this for now hopefully i will get two million potential to get extra heal which would be pretty nice i hope i have to i'm turning out on time yeah let's just turn in again and uh, shoot the ohio and conquer back and deal some good damage here is the conquer okay so i'm out of this uh, yeah this thing let's see if i can manage to get some citadel hits on him so some damage some damage some damage uh, annapolis is dead now i don't know if uh, eager can help me here or not but let's let's take a fight on uh, on uh, against the conqueror i i know it's it's going to be a really tough fight conqueror can literally Oh uh, yeah. Oh, double citadel. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm not fully angled, unfortunately, because well, yeah. But still, it's not that hard of a damage. Uh, I'm just gonna use my third gun still because well, oh, Congress is gonna be dead. I have some decent support, so hopefully that would be good enough. He's gonna shoot who? So that should be a dead conqueror, right? Yeah, dead conqueror, nice. So it is pretty good. I somehow managed to get some. Okay, we won the game. That's pretty nice. So you can able to see that is the game in Baiji. Baiji is pretty good. I mean, you have to play very cautiously uh, because we are sort of up here. So uh, as you can able to see, it's a victory, one kill on conqueror, couple of citadel hits, 152k damage, and in team score wise, well. Third in the team, which is pretty nice. Tanked quite a lot of damage. And this is basically Baijie is about sniping ships at long ranges and get some Citadel hits, which is definitely possible. I will go and play the next game to be able to show you uh, another Baijie. So here we go. So we are back with a second video of uh, Baishe and uh, in this game you will be able to see it's a top tier matchmaking which is pretty nice. There is a Shokaku which might be able to strike me that I fear but it's a rocket plane so the deck armor of the Baishe is pretty good so I don't need to worry about that. But on the other hand well uh, they have a couple of cruisers Neptune is very vulnerable Alaska and Ibuki and then there is Nebraska Amami, I think this this matchmaking is gonna be not that tough, I would say, uh, compared to the last one. Last one they have we have like very tough tough battles to deal with. This one not so much. And I will shoot this Nebraska here real quick. Uh, he's broadsiding now. Okay, he's broadsiding. So I fear that my shell's not gonna land on the position where I want. Is it? No, never mind. It just did a good damage. Fifteen thousand, pretty nice. So hopefully I will get another spotting on that guy. Okay, Nebraska sh basically shooting me. Understandable. Is he gonna run outside? He's not. He's turning in. Okay, he's turning in a bit. Uh, hello, Nebraska. Yeah, turned in to basically mitigate some of the damage, which I can understand. Uh, there's a Kagero. Changmo has a radar. Okay, and the submarine also got spotted because of that. Now, if I have a chance of shooting a DD, that would be nice, but yeah, let me shoot the DD real quick. I think I can just get the Kagero here and see if I can just damage a bit. Okay, Kagero, one over pen. One over pen is still okay. I'm not going to say it's too good, but hey, it's not that bad. The Kagero is shooting. So, Shenzhen can definitely go and strike this guy. All stations requesting fire uh, is he smoking target. up yeah he's smoking up but he's not slowing down i think he's a bad bad player okay he should be dead look. monarch is shooting he's gonna broadside yeah he's broadsiding 
And let's see if I can manage to get good salvo on this uh, Monarch. That will be super interesting. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That, that works. <laughs> that works. Definitely hit him. Definitely hit him pretty nicely here. Uh, is he still broadside? He's still broadside, though. There's a submarine, if I can just... Okay. Okay. Uh, Monarch, is he broadsiding still? Yeah, he's still broadsiding, I think. Oh, splash damage. Nice. Can I get another sit on this guy? I don't think so. Yeah, just a couple of uh, hits on that Monarch. He's still broadsiding, though. Hopefully, I can just uh, do some damage here and, and uh, do kill this guy if he broadsides again. Uh, let's see. Oh, come on. Give me the spotting, please. If not, then I can shoot the Iwami. Iwami also has this, but he's turning in. Really? Is he turning? Slightly. Oh, he's turning in, really. So, yeah. Yeah, he's turning in really hard now. I was expecting him not to, but I'm just gonna play, shoot him regardless. Dispersion looks pretty good, but he's turning in full hard. Monarch shooting me? Monarch shooting me. Yeah, careful, man. It's gonna be a tough thing to do then. Iwami just completely evaded my shells, which is bad. The Alaska is pushing from that line. That's not good. Uh, Nebraska might drop me, which is understandable. Okay. This is a bit tough, though. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that if I possibly can. Uh, these, are, these are, this is the thing that I can't do much. Nebraska will get a drop regardless. A couple of shell hits, which is nice. I didn't done much there. I'm just leaving this blank because it's getting too difficult, too rough here. And uh, Monarch is still broadsiding for some apparently weird reasons. Uh, yeah, Chang'u is gonna die dead. He's, he, he basically overextended so much so far. That's not gonna work well for him, buddy. Uh, let's shoot this Iwami. Can I manage to get this? Shell's looking good. Uh, Chang'u, will he survive? No, obviously he's not gonna survive. He just didn't do the right thing. Okay. Okay, couple of overpens and some hits. I will go here. Shenzhen is in trouble. Concentrate fire on this is gonna be a problem. Target. If I just All leave this flank, it's gonna be really bad. Target. So I will just turn back pretty much here and try to defend with my HP that I have possibly. I know it's gonna be tough. There are a lot of battleships out there and only submarine that's gonna help me there. And maybe potentially a Shenzhen, which I'm not sure what he's doing here. He's in trouble. If he just does something pretty bad here, there's nothing I can do here. And I mean, I can't push into the Alaska thing. Alaska just literally spotted me. And these turret traverse right now that I'm dealing with, it's pretty bad. I don't know, I just pushed in. Uh, that's not looking good though. I know it's not looking good. Submarine is in trouble as well. I uh, shoot the uh, Alaska, because so, why the hell not? And Iwami can literally do some good damage here. Okay, some damage, some damage on Alaska. Just gonna heal preemptively since I know Shenzhen can help me there. Oh wow, three shell hits, that's pretty nice. I need to just run away, no matter what. Okay, that's okay. Wami is even shooting me as well. Couple of shells hits on Alaska. Shenzhen sent good torpedoes on this guy. But I fear that's a lot of bat that's a lot of ship to deal with. I know the battleships looks to be tanky, but they are not tanky in this game. <laughs> and Iwami does have a good secondary, so I have to keep that in mind. Alaska can definitely uh, cause issues. I'm just gonna put the plane just to be able to see where the Alaska is. Uh, okay, Alaska basically broadsiding. That's not good for him, buddy. That's not good for you, buddy. Broadsiding is not gonna work. Broadsiding is not gonna work. He does have a fighter plane. What? He has a fighter plane? What the hell? Fighter plane instead of radar? Really? Wow, my goodness. Yeah. I think... No, you either use the... Yeah, hydro or defensive AA. 
fighter and yeah that's true he's just not using radar like what the hell alaska is a problem though it can be issue but well i can just overmatch the bomb and well uh, it could hurt him potentially but obviously this the, he's super bowing let's just hope this shenzhen does something about him so that i can just deal with him army otherwise i won't be able to do it just gonna preemptively heal some of it some of the hp he get a fire i think he damage gone the ship is on fire i'm gonna switch to he just to burn him down because that's the best thing that i can do yeah it's not looking good he's just full bow in tanking and i mean this is the problem with the baije baije just hates bombing targets like the vertical dispersion isn't something that would be a good thing to to watch so i'm just gonna wait and sh shoot he here and let's just just shoot he and maybe i get yeah, look at that dispersion man ah <sighs> really at least i got a fire from a single shell sure game is he damage gone yeah no he didn't damage gone but hey i just don't know what to do he set me another fire okay i will just set another fire then sure no problem this alaska is a pain to deal with though and i think the shenzhen is not even trying to help me i'm helping him but he's not helping me regardless really okay didn't get a fire unfortunately gonna try to push back since i can do that hopefully yeah hopefully the army doesn't shoot me uh, and i can shoot this guy oh my god dispersion can be so trolley so trolley sometimes even though it has two one two point one sigma it can still be super trolley hey well i got three shell hits fire which he might dcp here he didn't DCP. I think he does not have a damage gun ready or something. Which is pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah, he was burned down to death, I think. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, now we will push back. I know that I don't want to... I'm sh shooting the Ichi. I mean, Ichi is not going to be something that I'm going to be a fan of. He's turning out like hard. He's going to turn out like crazy. For some reason. For, for, for weird reasons. One of the stray shells gonna hit on the yeah, and will incapacitate something. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see if I can now get a broadside of this Iwami and kill this guy. Hopefully, oh wow, really? What are these people, man? As you can really see, some some shells, uh, some dispersion things are pretty pretty good. Here, I think I just missed him a bit hard here, and he's gonna ram. Is he gonna ram? Oh my god, these players, man. Holy shit. What are these players? Why you would not ram this guy, man? Why would you ram this guy? Oh, come on. You should have just shoot him and kill him, man. But man, oh man. Yeah, this is thinking man's action game, obviously. Let's hope that Nebraska doesn't get rammed towards this guy. Come on. Please don't get rammed. Oh, he's gonna ram him again as well? Another ram. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, what the hell is that I'm watching? Oh my god. Ah, sorry guys, man. It is sometimes so much funny, yet at the same time so much sad. I mean, both of these guys rammed for some reason. Uh, well, but that is Baije for you, as you can able to see. Baije, uh, it's basically a sniper battleship, uh, which you have seen. I have did some good damage to the Monarch and uh, yeah again consistent though guns are pretty good once uh, people are broadsiding because it's uh, uh, dispersion is good when people broadside but it's terrible when people are bowing like it doesn't matter it's just not good so 129k damage two citadel hits on that poor monarch once <laughs> one target hit on the on that guy as well team score wise obviously it's not the best of the game there are a couple of uh, dds that did well so that is pretty much the baiji game and I will basically show you some of the armor scheme because it's basically very much relates to Izumo. So this is the Baije armor scheme. As you can able to see, uh, it has 57 millimeter deck armor and 32 millimeter bow. So this is pretty much a tanky 
and superstructure is not that big so you can definitely tank quite a lot of HE shells if they hit onto that deck armor so it's pretty good uh, it does have a citadel by the way let me show you the citadel real quick so it does have a raised citadel as you can able to see you are vulnerable to be citadel somewhere it's 76 millimeters somewhere it's 127 but it does have a turtle back a weak turtle back so it does help uh, tank quite a lot of shells and that's pretty good thing about the Baiji. so it's a lot much resistant to be citadel compared to other uh, IG and battleships which basically makes Baiji's pretty good basically Izumo copy paste in terms of armor scheme but I will show you there because why the hell not so thank you guys for watching I hope you like this Baiji 2 games and uh, you might be able to understand what Baiji is about and how to play this ship comfortably it's basically a long range sniper and if you have this ship I definitely recommend it to play because it's definitely a fun Izumo I mean, it's slightly better than Izumo because slightly better dispersion in, uh, in terms of its sigma values. So it does help quite a lot. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you into the next one. Peace out.